Bones, to me, represent both life and death. The form and inherent design of bones are so beautiful and exquisite. They tell a story about what they do and the structure that they hold. But on their own, when they're separated from that structure, they're very intriguing of how did this shape come to be. We generally think of bones as rigid because we see the bones that are left after death. But bones are actually really dynamic, living things that continue to grow and take form because of the forces that are put upon them. I've always used the body in my artwork. I'm very inspired by our natural biology as well as our emotional content. Sharing what it means to be human is a deeply personal and deeply emotional expression. I was studying bones and making artwork inspired by bones, and I started thinking about concepts in generative art and systems that grow and generate on their own. And kind of merging those two inspirations at the same time, I came to this idea of actually growing bone. As an artist in residence at Pier 9, I found out that we have a bio nano lab here and scientists that are working in bone and collagen. So we collaborated and embarked on this process of 3D printing lattices for cell growth. I 3D scanned a hand bone of a female hand that was about the same size as me. And then we took that 3D scan data, processed it, and brought it into a 3D modeling environment. Once I refined that design, I used a program called Within Medical to break this geometry down to the cellular level in a trabecular structure. The trabecular structure is the spongy part of bone. Stem cells have an intelligence that programs them to be able to come the type of cell that they need to be. If I put them onto a lattice that's shaped like bone, then they will become bone. I 3D printed the micro lattice on the Ember 3D printer. The material I used is a pegdahydrogel that's used to grow cells. It's biocompatible and biodegradable. So over time, the hydrogel disintegrates. After the micro lattices were 3D printed, we seeded them with human stem cells and allowed them to grow. So the intention is that I made this lattice to guide the cells a form to grow into, but we don't really know if it's gonna grow into that form or if it's gonna proliferate outwards and do something more interesting. To me, there's so much awe and mystery in the way that life is formed. It's an intelligence beyond our understanding for all these parts to come together in perfect union. I created this as a piece of artwork, but in the future, we could potentially use the same method to make bone grafts that are implantable into the body. And if we're going to be implanting back into the body, what does that mean? How would we redesign our bodies and what would we make ourselves into? As an artist and designer, it's also really interesting to consider what would we make if we no longer need to use inanimate objects like metal and fibers. If we can now use the building blocks of life, actual cells and tissue, what would we make?